Hey there, Aries. Welcome, welcome. This is Renee, and welcome to my channel. Um, if you are new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This is going to be your March 18th through the 31st reading. This is going to be a general reading, so we'll cover it all. Um, when I was meditating on your energy, Aries, I was getting the lover's card. So I feel like, you know, there may be a new person coming into your life very soon. Or, you know, with the lovers being uh, a card of choices, there may be an important choice that you may have to deal with. Um, during this time. So we're going to take a look at the tarot. We're going to see what's going on for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Aries. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Hangman. We have the Queen of Wands. Wow. The Three of Cups. Three, three. Hey. Something going on for you, Aries. The strength and the hermit. Okay. At the bottom, we have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, just like I was thinking. You know, I'm, there may be some kind of collaboration. Some kind of networking or something like that that you're doing. I feel like, you know, you're doing something as a group. Um, so there may be a lot of socializing going on. You may be starting a new project that's like a team effort here. Or um, there's just maybe three people in the situation. Now that's for a very few of you, but it's a possibility. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, I feel like, you know, you're making very wise choices at the moment. There's things going on in your life where maybe you have to make financial decisions. And I feel like you are kind of looking at your stability. You're looking, you know, where you are today and where you want to be in the future. And you're looking and making those important decisions, Aries. But I feel like, you know, with this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like if... This is a situation that you have to choose. I feel like you are making a wise decision for your future. Okay, I feel like a lot of abundance is is coming in for you. You're getting wealth. You're getting some kind of promotion, some kind of give back. Okay, and we have the Seven of Swords underneath that. So I feel like, you know, sometimes the Seven of Swords can mean you know, someone being sneaky, someone trying to take something from you, someone is, you know, just not being honest in the situation. But typically, this can also be a card of strategy because, see, he's leaving those two swords behind, but he's taking what he can carry. So he's strategizing that, you know, he's taking these swords away, away from the enemy so that they can't be used against him. So I feel like there may be some strategies that you're using in order to gain more financial stability okay so I feel like you are strategizing you're making a solid plan okay and if you're not making a solid plan I feel like spirit is letting you know it is time to make a solid plan maybe start putting money away start saving up for that rainy day you know um, just take it how it resonates okay Aries now we have the the three of pentacles with the hangman and the queen of wands okay so i feel like you know there's some kind of collaboration going on here i feel like there's some things that you're working on there's some things that you're definitely trying to figure out you're trying to become more aware of and i feel like you know that's bringing you to a new place i feel like you know Aries, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of excitement ahead for you the rest of this month. Um, I feel like things are happening. You're being very assertive. You're making moves in the right direction because you are becoming more aware of a situation. Okay, so I, I feel like you are gaining ground. Okay, we're going to go ahead and clarify those cards as well. So uh, we'll see what else they mean. 
We have the Three of Cups, the Strength card, and the Hermit. Wow. Okay. Now, for some of you, this may be a three-party situation that you may have had to walk away from. You may have had to regain your strength. You know, regain your confidence in the situation. You may have had to, you know, become aware. You know, take some time out. Refocus. And, you know, spend some alone time here. And, um... But for others, I feel like, you know, you're basically just surrounding yourself by people that are like-minded. I feel like you're becoming very strong in your situation, very wise in, in the situation that you're at. And you may also be taking time out for yourself, time to pamper yourself and spoil your, yourself in ways that, you know, you wish others would spoil you. You know, that's what I'm getting from that. Okay, so very interesting so far, Aries. I, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of focus on yourself. There's a lot of focus on your surroundings, maybe on your financial stability. And um, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see what else is going on for Aries. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles, clarifying these cards, we have... The star card, exactly how I was feeling. Okay, with the hangman, we have the seven of wands. And with the queen of wands, we have the ace of wands. Beautiful. This is very strong energy. And look what we have at the bottom. At the bottom, we have the page of pinnacles. So I feel like someone is bearing gifts. Okay, this is going to be maybe an offer that you can't refuse, some kind of valuable offer that's going to bring you um, more wealth, maybe a raise at work, some kind of bonus that you weren't expecting. But this is an unexpected gift. Okay, so I feel like in March you're going to receive an unexpected gift from someone. This may be a blessing that you were waiting for. Okay, so Aries, we have the star, the seven of wands, and the ace of wands. This is beautiful energy. Uh, so I feel like, you know, with the star energy, you know, you may be healing from a situation. You may be healing from this three of, three of uh, pentacles, three of cups situation. You may be feeling rejuvenated, you know, Feeling more at balance, feeling the need to gaining your balance, to gaining healing, you know, becoming your own spotlight, okay? And with the Seven of Wands, I feel like, you know, you may need to set your boundaries because I feel like, you know, you may not be setting your boundaries high enough. You know, you may have let your guard down and let someone really kind of hurt you at the moment. But I feel like, you know, you need to set those boundaries appropriately with the appropriate people. Okay? Not saying that you need to set your boundaries with everyone, but you know what I'm talking about, Aries. So I feel like you're very aware of the situation. There are some people that you need to set your boundaries kind of high okay so that's just uh for you to be aware of okay and we have the ace of wands so i feel like there's new energy coming in for you there's a new excitement a new venture new creativity um i feel like if you haven't had any energy lately if you've kind of felt like you know your energy was being drained like you were more on the lazy side I sure know I have. You know, lately I've been struggling to have energy. Um, so, I feel like this is new energy coming into you. Look at this. We have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So, I feel like this is, this is new energy coming into you. New, you know, uh, ventures, new creativity. I feel like you are going after something that maybe you've been setting your mind to, okay? So if there's a project or if there's some kind of job offer, if there's something that you've been wanting to do and been putting it off, 
Aries, this is the time to get moving and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify the Three of Cups. What do we have for the Three of Cups for Aries? Spirit, a message for, for Aries. Okay, with the Three of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles. With the Strength card, we have the Chariots. And with the Hermit, we have the Fool. Beautiful. Look at this. At the bottom, we have the Strength card again. So, Spirit is letting you know you definitely are stronger than you believe. You have the capability to, to do whatever you put your mind to. You know, you just need to let your, so, you let your thoughts be free. And, you know, build your confidence. You have the know-how to do whatever it is that you put your mind to. Okay, Aries? So, have strength. Be fearless. Be bold. Okay? Let's go ahead and set these here. Okay, with the Three of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like in this situation, I feel like you're taking a look at the people around you and you're kind of noticing who is valuable and who is just dead weight. You know, I, I feel like you're kind of sifting through your friend list and seeing who is really down and who is, you know, on the way out. Okay, so I feel like you're finding value. You're finding value in the things around you, in the people that you put your time there with, um, maybe even at work. Um, you're putting value to things. You're seeing what's valuable in your life and what you can just release. Okay, now we have the strength card and the chariot. So I feel like, you know, you're on this path of really making things happen Aries I feel like you know you are strong you are vital you are capable of whatever it is that you are trying to move towards and I feel like you're moving in the right direction because you're pointed right at this new beginning okay there's a leap of faith that you're going to be taking because it, i feel like you've been thinking a lot about this you've been kind of contemplating how to have this fresh start how to you know gain more balance take this leap of faith you know go on this new journey i feel like you've been planning this out you've been kind of seeing where things would go maybe you're writing it down on paper maybe you're daydreaming but while you're doing that Aries I feel like you are totally manifesting what it is that you desire okay so I feel like because you've been thinking so much about this new beginning this new leap that you want to take I feel like this new leap is coming very boldly and very strong Okay, it's very interesting how, you know, you are really making things happen in your life. You may not even see it at the moment, Aries, but you are making things happen, okay? And that's a good thing. Just keep doing what you're doing, Aries, because I feel like you are totally on the right track, okay? We're going to go ahead and get an outcome for Aries, okay? We have the Three of Pentacles. Look at this. We had three, three, three. Wow. Changes are coming. Big changes are coming, Aries. Okay? Okay, we have the Lovers. That's exactly what I was feeling in the beginning. If you remember, I, I was feeling that, you know, um, in two of intuitively that you know you may have love coming towards you or there may be a big choice that you need to make okay and we also have the magician so like i said i feel like you are manifesting something big something huge is coming for you uh aries and I feel like if, if you are open to love, I feel like this is something that you're manifesting. This is something that you're bringing forward that, you know, you may not even realize that you're doing this. But I feel like you're thinking so much about this that you're actually bringing it into your reality. You're bringing it into your 3D. Okay. 
Um, and we also have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever this is that you're working on, I feel like you're working very strongly. You're, you know, you're going to have some kind of help along the way. Someone else may be manifesting you, Aries. And I feel like, you know, that's making this manifestation even stronger. Okay? So I feel like there's things coming through for you. And I feel like there's a lot of surprises in store for you this month at the end of this month, Aries. So we're going to go ahead and take some... Um, we're going to take a look at some oracle cards and then we're going to go ahead and choose your angel number. So stick around to the end so you can see what angel number comes out for you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a monology card. What's in store for Aries? Okay, we have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Very interesting. And we also have the answers you need are coming. Okay, so I definitely feel like things are coming um, to you. You may be more aware of the things that you kind of need answers on right now. Okay, but I feel like there's an awareness. There's an awakening here for you, Aries. Okay, let's get a manifestation monology. I want to see what manifestation monology has in store for Aries. Okay, we have embraced the flow of life. Full moon in Gemini. This is the second time Gemini energy has come around. So I feel like there may be a Gemini coming out for you. Okay, and open up to change new moon in aquarius and i do feel like there are a lot of changes coming around for you aries so just be aware of those changes i feel like you know something's coming that um, is going to put you in a much better situation okay lots of changes coming for you Okay, now there may be some kind of need for you to compromise. There may be something that you need to really pay attention to. Um, so be aware. There may be someone in your life that, you know, may need your help or you may need to, you know, come to a compromising situation. Okay. And we also have abundance. What did I say? There's abundance coming in for you. There is wealth. At the bottom we have look for a sign. Okay? So I feel like signs and synchronicities may be very important for you right now. Okay? Let's go ahead and pull your angel number. Let's see what is in store for Aries. Let's pull your angel number do we have for Aries spirit okay this one look at this destiny wow okay follow what you feel listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting the inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire Listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Okay? And Aries, your affirmation. Life is always happening for me. I am allowing myself to lean in to feel what is good. Okay? So that is your affirmation, Aries. Okay? So this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Also, Aries, if this doesn't resonate completely, you may need to look at your sun, moon, and rising. And I have those in the March playlist, so feel free to take a look at those. Now, the next readings I do will probably be a 72 hour or 48 hours, so take a look at those when, um, when they come out. And until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.